Senate Republicans have blocked a bill to avoid a government shutdown and prevent the U.S. from defaulting on its debt. Now, President Biden is working with Democrats to figure out a way forward. Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen appeared on Capitol Hill with an appeal to Congress. It is imperative that Congress address the debt limit. If not, America would default for the first time in history. The full faith and credit of the United States would be impaired and our country would likely face a financial crisis and economic re recession as a result. Secretary Yellen has warned America will reach its debt ceiling by October 18th. Friday is the deadline for the government shutdown unless Congress passes an emergency funding bill. Republicans say they will approve a stopgap spending bill to keep the government open, but not if it's attached to an extension of the debt ceiling. Secretary Yellen just announced a new estimate that action on the debt limit may be necessary as early as October the 18th. Democrats will need to handle the debt limit before then. Democrats say they'll raise the debt ceiling on their own if Republicans won't filibuster the bill. Later this afternoon, I will ask unanimous consent for the Senate to hold a vote to increase the debt limit at a majority threshold. President Biden held a conference call with Senator Chuck Schumer and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to discuss a way forward, not only with the debt ceiling, but with his other legislative priorities as well. Speaker Pelosi told House Democrats they will vote on the roughly $1 trillion infrastructure bill, even though the $3.5 trillion spending package is still being worked on. So in the next day or so, we hope to come to a place where we can all move forward on that. But progressive Democrats are vowing to block the infrastructure bill until they can vote on the bigger spending bill. I don't believe it'll come for a vote unless we get the reconciliation bill done, and I think that will be hard. Moderate Democrats, such as West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin, are opposed to the $3.5 trillion price tag. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And Senators Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema are meeting with the president at the White House today as they try to negotiate a lower dollar figure for the spending bill.